There's nothing that lies. Hey guys, it's Mary. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a wash and deep condition kind of video. I'm basically just showing you guys what I normally do, but I'm going to be incorporating some new products that I mentioned in my previous video. So for this video today, I'm going to be using this right here, which is called Crece Pelo, the shampoo, and then I'll style my hair after that. Before I go ahead and shampoo my hair, I like to apply extra virgin olive oil. This is an organic one that I got from Trader Joe's. So I'm going to put this on my hair before I shampoo it. This way my hair doesn't get dried out from the shampoo. And I only put a little bit on. Extra virgin olive oil is very moisturizing so you don't need a lot. And then I'll go and shampoo my hair. Alright guys, so I finished shampooing my hair. And this shampoo is a clear shampoo and it's really, really thick. And it smells delicious. It smells so, so, so good. And I don't know if it, I feel like there's aloe vera in here, right? I don't know, it doesn't say it on here, but it's a really thick shampoo and it wasn't, um, it wasn't as drying as I, as I was expecting it to be. So this is definitely going to be a keeper and the fact that it has no silicones in it definitely will be repurchasing once it runs out. All right, so my hair right now is just in a um, microfiber towel. You guys should already own these if you have curly hair. You should have a couple of microfiber towels. Now, my hair isn't that um, uh, knotty. I remember back in the day when I was younger, I didn't know how to take care of my hair and I would let my hair get so knotty that one time I ended up getting a knot on my head, like right here, and my mom had to cut the knot off because that's how bad it was like I didn't comb my hair I didn't know how to take care of it but yeah so now I'm just gonna put the deep conditioner in my hair I just love how this stuff smells it smells so good when I put my deep conditioners on I like to massage it into my scalp but when it comes to deep conditioning and like hot oil treatments and stuff like that I definitely make sure you know to massage it in there and give my head a little you know massage and stuff and I'm very generous when I'm applying the um, deep conditioners I like to make sure that my hair is nicely coated with all of the product so far so good my hair feels already very very soft I think I'm not even gonna put any more in it and let me just get my comb all right so I'm just gonna detangle my hair like I said it's not naughty so Gonna be detangled pretty fast and this deep conditioner is definitely making my hair feel so 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 soft I don't know why I thought this wasn't gonna be moisturizing but so far it feels really really soft in my hair and my hair looks really shiny I don't know if you guys can even see that but So now I'm just going to put my head into a shower cap to deep condition my hair. Let me see. I don't... Let me see how long this says to leave it on. Oh, it actually says to leave it on for 15 minutes. Alright, great. So I'm going to stay under my dryer for 20 minutes. That's my uh, minimum. At least 20, even though it says 15. When I'm putting on my shower cap, I try to make my ends stay on top of my head. This way they get, they're get they definitely going to get heat because they're on top of my head instead of the back of my head. Do you know what I mean, guys? All right, so this is the dryer that I'm gonna be using. This is a gold and hot ionic soft jumbo bonnet dryer. So it's like a cap dryer and you know, you tighten it to make it tighter and yeah it's this dryer right here i love to take with me when i'm traveling it's a great dryer for travel and a great dryer for deep conditioning or like quick things so instead of me taking out my bigger dryer i like to use this one and this fits in your suitcase nicely so even if you're on vacation you can still take this 
bad boy right here and you can still you know take care of your hair on a weekly basis also when I'm buying like hair appliances and stuff I like to try to get the like hair appliances that have the ion or ionic technology on it because it's better for your hair and when I was at the beauty supply store they had two um, bonnet dryers and I end up going with this one because this one has the ionic technology the other one did it so when you guys are purchasing any kind of hair tools try to get ones that have that kind of technology because it's good for your hair when it's it reduces frizz in your hair and it's just better for your hair all right so i'm gonna go sit under my dryer for 20 minutes Hey guys, I just wanted to show you guys how I put my bonnet on. So before I turn it on, I like to put tie it like this because once the dryer turns on, it kind of pushes up and yeah, so I'll show you guys basically what it does. Okay, so see like it's getting bigger and by me doing this, I don't know if you guys can hear me right now, but by me doing this, this prevents the cap from like, you know, going up too high. So once it's already on, then I'll take my ears out like that. So don't take your ears out before you turn it on because then it's going to be, um, it's going to, you know, fall off of your head. I hope you guys understand what I just tried to show you and I will be right back. Bye guys. Alright guys, so I finished deep conditioning my hair and this deep conditioner left my hair so soft and slippery, like it left my hair so soft. I was not expecting it to be a moisturizing kind of deep conditioner, but yeah, I really like it. And um, right now I am just soaking up the excess water so that I can go ahead and style my hair. So yeah, this is what my hair looks like after that. It's so soft, guys. It's so soft. And the smell is, ugh, smells delicious. It smells so good. All right, so today, um, oops, okay. Well, alrighty. <laughs> so today I'm going to be using this Beyond the Zone Noodle Head as my uh, leave-in. This kind of smells like coconut. All right, so just took a little bit like that and I'm going to apply that to my hair. This Beyond the Zone Noodle Head actually is not moisturizing as I thought it was going to be. It, I think this has protein in it. I don't know. But because it was, it's a cream, I really thought this would be a moisturizing kind of cream. So if you're looking for something moisturizing, this is not it. This is not... Mm. I don't know about this one guys. Alright, I'm not gonna put any more of that stuff in my hair. I don't want my hair to get too hard. And um, I'm gonna be using my, hold on, let me dry my hands first. I'm gonna be using my Fantasia clear gel, my one of my favorite gels, to style my hair with. This just gets rid of all the frizz in my hair. Uh -oh. There it is guys. This is what gets rid of all the frizz in my hair and it leaves my hair really nice and shiny. I'm just smoothing out all the frizz first before I scrunch. Alright guys, so I finished scrunching my hair and now I'm going to be diffusing my hair with my Conair diffuser thingamajiggy. <sighs> Hold on, I'm out of breath. Okay, and because it is getting colder outside, I like to diffuse my hair. I do it differently now. I don't, you know, start with sections first. First, I semi-dry my hair, so I'll go in all over my head with the blow dryer. And then once it starts getting, like... Let me see, 90, like let's say 90% dry, then I'll start going in with the sections. But before I do that, I'm going to be using this heat protectant by Silk Elements. So this way I don't end up touching my hair anymore and it's a spray, so. And this smells delicious. Yep, 
it smells lovely lovely all right so i'm gonna put it on high and hot and dry my hair and i'll be fast forwarding through this part the truth for you there's nothing that lies beneath there's no mystery kind of lied to you guys um you want to start you know taking sections like this you know where you take sections you go up like this and then you hold it I know I said like 90% dry so not 90% dry basically when your gel starts to get hard or your whatever styling product you're using starts to get a little you know hard or whatever and that's when you want to start taking sections dry and now I'm just gonna take my hands to scrunch my hair out and you know make it fluffier and not crunchy so the last thing I do I forgot to film this part is I just take my fingers and I comb through my hair like this just to give it more volume at the root so I go like this comb it out and then pull my finger out so like that and that just gives me extra volume so yeah, those are the results for today with the products that I use and my curls look like they're coming back to life. The, the diffuser definitely helps, you know, make my curls curlier because some parts of my hair, as you guys know, is damaged. So like this front part doesn't look damaged anymore. And I really, really did like these two products right here. The shampoo wasn't as drying and the deep conditioner was left my hair very very soft and slippery so I will be repurchasing these two things once they run out. I won't be repurchasing the noodle head. I didn't like it. It kind of made my hair stiff. So yeah, I don't like this. And today I also tried the Silk Elements Olive Oil Heat Protectant Spray. I actually really do like this to use before I diffuse my hair because you know, after you put on your styling product on your curly hair, and comparing this to a serum, like, you know, with a serum, you have to touch your hair, and with a spray, you don't have to touch your hair, so it's not going to make your hair frizzier. All you have to do is just spray it on and diffuse your hair. So I definitely like this right here. So that's it, guys, and if you would like to see these kind of videos, like weekly deep conditioning videos or me you know washing my hair and doing my regular routine then just thumbs up this video and i will make sure that i do a video like this once a week and i'll incorporate the new products and stuff so i hope you guys like this video thank you so much for watching and i can't wait to see you in my next one bye